I find it hard to believe, just based on well, uh, you know, my personal like, life experience or just general other people's life experience, to say the universe came from nothing and it created itself. Like, <laughs> I've never said that. No, no, yeah, I'm just saying. This gentleman I'm laughs, but, yeah. but, but, and that's no, fine. but I'm being honest. When, like, when we are, most of us here, and yeah. I, I include myself to some degree, when we're yeah. ignorant, yeah. that statement sounds like ridiculous. <laughs> but then one, in, then one investigates, like anything, right. when one goes to investigate, we go, oh, but actually, when we go speak to experts and they explain what nothing is and how that can happen, now it's not so ridiculous. Okay, so, so what I'm saying is if we educate ourselves, then we don't laugh I don't ignorantly I don't and, and go... Work, but guess what my doctor does? <laughs> but, this, Ray, hold on, but, but it's a common thing that I hear in the park. Okay. Oh, something can't come from nothing. Ha ha ha. ha. No, um, no, and that's just, that's that. not you specifically, yeah. but people in general. Yeah. And that tells me that it's an ignorance going, well, I personally can't think how this could happen. In my logical world, I've not seen that happen. So do you Therefore, think, I dismiss it completely. So do you think it can come from nothing? No, 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 I want to ask, because do you think it can come from nothing? That's the okay, thing. so it depends what you mean by nothing. But uh, scientific nothing, yes. And we've, in fact, um, demonstrated the effects of that. Not that it's physically come in. But Can you explain? Because I am a bit of aware of the whole idea of the whole nothing. So I've argued this before. So I want to understand what do you yeah. mean by nothing? So, for example, a, a, an absence of particles or energy. So no thing, as my friend who comes here says, no particles. So right. a void, if you want to call it that. Right. It's hard for us to put it into words, isn't it? But a void. There's, okay. there's literally no thing there. Right. So it's like a black space. Call it. Think of it like a black hole, but there's nothing in there. Nothing. So wait. No but, thing. Based on the universe, are you telling me every single thing has a sort? Because particles are not particles are not everywhere. There's always spaces, even between particles. That I would even classify yeah, that yeah, as nothing. So. So no, no, but that's not what. Yeah, but that's not nothing, is it? So what, so is what it? we're talking about is no particles. So it's literally a vacuum. No, no, no. I'm saying if there's a particle here and there's another particle here, what's that space in between? What would you call that? Space. Right, of course. But wouldn't that be nothing? No. Why isn't that nothing? Because nothing is the absence of those particles. Not we're not talking about space. Because remember, space between particles is very small. Right. Okay. So wouldn't like that my be nothing? Small. No. I would argue that's nothing. Okay, but, but nobody else would argue. I don't even think a theist would argue yeah, that's that, nothing. So you've got your wait, own wait, version of that no, no, thing no, no, no. that's wait, wait, not even a scientist so would what, claim. What would you call that? That's what I'm, I'm trying to understand. Space in between particles. Space in between particles. And it's what not is that? nothing. But that is nothing because they, if, if if no, space is there nothing between me and you. There would be air and other things right, like so that. But I'm talking about from the atom level, between that is nothing. There isn't anything. Yeah, that is what I'm arguing. Well, we don't have space, but that space is nothing. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's, let's assume empty. you were correct. I'd agree that it's empty. Let's right. assume you were but correct. How can that not be nothing? It's not something. I'm just saying. Let's assume you are correct. Okay. So what? All right. How does that help in any way? Okay, so there's no. nothing in between no, you the were proton about, and the neutron, so what? You were arguing about um, what nothing is and you know... So we a, a, a void of some size, not the size of a neutron, where there are no particles, there is no thing in this void. My understanding of nothing is anything like no space, in, like if there's space and there's nothing in between, that would be classified as nothing as well. How can that not be nothing? Well, it's certainly not well, something. We used to think that the vacuum of outside of our atmosphere, the vacuum of space used to be true nothingness, but actually it's been tested and found that there's all sorts of atmosphere. Um, right, that's why I moved it to the atom level. Yeah, the only, that would be the nothing. closest thing to nothing that we have in this universe uh, accessible to us is the experiment that you talked about. Yeah, the Kashmir effect. So, we, yeah, so what's the Kashmir effect? So the Kashmir effect is a, is a vacuum box where they have removed There's everything. There is no thing in there. the box. They put two metal plates next to each other and they just leave it. So that would be a, a type of nothing as well? That would be no thing. That would be a scientific no thing. No particles, nothing in there. Right. What happens? These plates start to move together. But is okay. I'm sure people have got it sorted, hopefully. Um, and so in this effect, yeah. the plates start to move together. And so... What they're saying is that there's virtual particles popping in. Yeah. We can't measure them, they're so fast, yeah. but we can measure the effect. And the effect is a pushing effect on the two plates. And so from this, we can infer that in absolute, what we would call scientific nothing, right. something can come into existence. And my friend here would give you a very eloquent way of explaining it, right. which is that the quantum vacuum can and does give rise to a universe and it requires no creator it requires nothing other than the laws of physics and quantum mechanics but the laws from of that a universe can spring right cool the laws of physics but more more on the case of quantum mechanics you're saying things can pop into existence okay i'm just trying to not things 
No, it's like you, you talk about like it's things. Like We're talking about yeah, call it a molecule yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo molecules, or whatever you yeah, want to yeah, call I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to understand. Okay, so it's, it's worth studying it because I mean I'm not going to give no, you no, like no, a perfect I, no, explanation. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, but that's what I'm saying. I am aware of the idea of um, things popping out because I've right. seen a video talking about how nothing. So is that's a possibility yeah. for the beginning of the universe if there is such a thing, and that answers the question that theorists have around here. Oh, how can something come from nothing? Well, I yeah, I can agree to an I can agree to an extent that would be an answer. Yeah, you're right. But I'm just trying to understand. Because I was going to ask this question, but I'm, I doubt you would know. Because if I say it, then you, I was going to say that. If I don't know, I'll just say that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was going to say that. So, do we have any idea why it does that? That's what I was going to ask. Why what? Why, why the quantum vacuum does it? Yeah. No, I, I'm not sure that we that we are that's even, um, even one level deeper. You see, that's why I was going to ask. Yeah, I'm not sure that we are justified in asking a why question. Because a why question, most often, sorry, if you forget need why. I'll say how. Yeah, how? Exactly it, how in the same sense? Exactly. How is it able to? Oh, okay. So, um, when my buddy comes here, I'll point him out to you, and he'll give you the the. The scientific explanation. I'm not at a at a level where I can say to you, I'll give you the the deep down of how that happens, like the quantum mechanical effects and how they interact and why that would happen. Is it to do? Wait, hold on. And here he is, actually. This one man will tell you. Yeah. He's standing there from a distance. Yeah, what's your name? No flat Earth and. Uh, no, 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 no. Christian, how can the quantum vacuum hey, rise right? the universe? So he's asking for like almost like a technical definition. Because it's zero energy, but it's not totally zero, it's called quasi, almost. Right. Yes? Almost. So, which means that there can be fluctuations that happen. Yes? Right. So, when those fluctuations happen, and it's been observed over and over and over again yes. in laboratories, you know, if they create an oscillation. Okay? Many of those oscillations come and go and they die away. But some of them could give rise, you know, to new space and time and the rise of particles. Wait, hold on. I'm just, I'm just trying to grasp my head around this. Yeah. So you're talking about, you're saying, wait, energy, like near, near energy or something like that. Yeah, quasi near zero. Quasi near zero. zero. Quasi Meaning zero. it's a tiny, tiny amount, yes. but it's more than enough at the level of the to, to quantum reality. The to if do you're really interested, he studied the course, he'll tell you the course to go study if you're interested. Because oh, there's, yeah. there's an explanation here, but you need more to it, you know? Yeah. Just, I, I think the main thing that someone that you need to take away from this is that nothing is set in stone. When you say something like something couldn't come from nothing, that sounds very right. But guess what? It's not representative of the physical reality we live in. It's an approximation human beings have made based on our logic about how we live life. Whether right. something could come from nothing is a is a scientific question that we need to leave up to experts right. to actually find out. I'm not I'm not really doubting that nothing like nothing can. I'm just saying yeah. based on it reason, doesn't. It's not yeah. intuitive. Yeah. It doesn't, right. what, what, and I realize and I, and I feel the same. And I realize when it comes to quantum mechanics, anyone can really kind of argue that nothing makes sense in our reality when it comes to the quantum level. Yeah. So the, is the important yeah. thing is this. Personally, uh, I've done quite a few studies in quantum mechanics. I don't like the word nothing. I always specify no dash things, meaning it's pure energy, there are no particles, you, you know, no things. And no physical okay. thing. Yeah, no, no, not a particle, but it can give rise to particles, you know, and it's infinite, spaceless, timeless, it's always been there, and it rises to universes that come and go. But you said, I'm just trying Beautiful to understand, you said something about nearly energy, that's what I'm trying to understand. No, no, zero. quasi, quasi zero. So is, is it, it mean, below or above? No, above. Uh, yeah, above. so which means, look, you know what uh, zero energy it means? That if you so it's and not I, zero? Yeah, yeah but quasi. Zero. Meaning that it's not enough energy for, to make anything that you in the medium level of the world would notice. Yeah. That, but no, no, let me, that's let, so in other words, there was no such thing as nothing in the first place. Is this what no, there is the vacuum, there is always don't know, is really, something. But don't let, me, know let me tell you, yeah. if we push each other, yeah, we go like that, with equal force, that creates zero energy. Okay? Because we would not move. We will be totally balanced. And although there is a lot of energy being exchanged, but it's still zero. But quasi, if there is a tiny bit of difference, there will be a movement. Yes. Can you explain to him why the total energy of the universe is zero? 
Uh, because if when you put every positive energy and negative energy in the universe, any push and pull, they balance each other out. So this universe came around effortlessly. You know, it is that there is a a lot happening. So is there, everything is happening. So it is a fault. Is there a number to this? Uh, he was in the top to uh, to what? So to the amount of yes. atoms and stuff. Or is there an infinite yeah. amount? Oh, you mean in the universe? Yeah. Well, still we don't know. The galaxy, yeah. they still, we still don't know. <laughs> I mean, everything about the universe, so we don't know. But some people, I know some physicists have attempted to say 10 to the 69. But that's no, the reason why I'm arguing a number yeah. is because if, if it has a limit, then... No, no, but that number would not be representative of it as a whole, because that could only ever talk about the observable universe. The, uh, so the, we don't even know if the universe is infinite or not, so how can we assign a number to how much it weighs or how much it parts with it? We can't. Yeah, based on the Big Bang, I think we can. Sorry? Based on the Big Bang, you can. Come in. What's your view? I mean, are you a theist or are you like an energy person? Or no, no, no. I'm a I mean, you're just Christian. exploring. Oh, okay. What? Yeah, I just want to know. I just want to hear the other no, side. that's cool. Are you yeah. Christian then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I just want to know. I think we have spoken before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've talked to you before. Yeah, I've spoken to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, but don't study it because when people talk about it, they use the terms here yeah, and call it study. No, there is a lot of confusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is... Uh, yeah, but to be honest, it's not an easy subject, is it? <laughs> no, it's not, but uh, there are some basics people have to know, you know. Wait, like when you, they say you, it's only theory, that is silly. Yes. yes. You, you know, because the amount of evidence... Well, it wasn't very smart. I don't understand why they would even call it that then. Because it wasn't very smart to call it a, a, sci a theory or a scientific theory. You'd call no, it, it, it is a very fine theory. It's a very fine yeah, yeah, theory. I, I, get, I get the but, idea what you But science it. uses the word theory, mean it can move, it can move on. You can add to it. Do you understand what you mean? It's, a, it's humility in a way, you know. If they say, oh, this is not they the absolute said law. truth. They I should have called it something else. Yeah, but 100 or 200 years ago, they would have called I'll something pass like the that message. Law, but then, <laughs> but they've realized not to be so absolute about it. Well, you people. see, scientists don't care what theologians and us lay people are doing. They're interested in finding out about the natural true. world. And if it's confusing, yes, we could say to them, hey, make it easier. But to be honest, they don't really care. Uh, and yeah. they want to find out how things work and not through supernatural agency. Because how do we determine that? So you need a you need a quantum theory of godliness, and you need to put that on the table that we could test and falsify. Now you're on the playing field. Otherwise, you're looking in, trying to borrow a bit of science, rejecting when it doesn't suit you, and then we look at you and go. I'm, the, I'm a, a bit different. Cheerful. I don't. I okay, don't. You might maybe not yeah. you, but other. But then, but then, for example, what would you say is the reason why you're you're a Christian? Like, Have you been to the God? Just a little bit. Just a little bit of it. Yeah. Why? Because. I, I'd, I'd rather not say it on yeah. the camera, but... Okay, fair yeah. enough. But that's just... Alright, we talk about it another time. So yeah. Just carry on with what you were talking about. But, uh, you have some interesting questions. So if you've got any cosmology, the, ask Carlo. He's what was done the, some study on it, so... What was know. the thing you said earlier? You said something... Cashmere effect. Cashmere effect. Oh, well, Cashmere. Cashmere. To be honest, I quite Cashmere. like... Cashmere. I quite like Cashmere. Cashmere. Sorry. questions. I mean, yeah. at least it's coming genuinely from what you genuinely think. What, what all theists should say is we don't know what happened. But of course, theists don't say that. And so they start to borrow from science or not, as the case may be. You should say, do you know what, I don't know what happened. I'd like but to believe it was think, a God, this is what I think. but I don't know. And if the smart people you, don't know... If you're a God, let me tell you something. One, another big uh, misunderstanding going here, you cannot add to infinity. How can you create a world that... Uh, 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 actually, infinity plus one is it's infinity. Infinity, yeah. infinity Time, minus one infinity is infinity. Infinity times infinity is yeah. infinity. And there are many types of infinity as well. You know, like there is countable infinity. One, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 minus one, minus two. Space. You, you know, you move something from where everything uh, readjusts itself and it still remains infinity. So you can have a wave going through it, you know, it's still infinite. So the, the, the quantum field creates universes that come and go, but still it remains infinite. Isn't that beautiful? Huh? I think, so. I, I think yeah. so because you can, like you said, you can have, you can make infinities, but um, it's not. There's no difference between infinity. Yeah. yeah. So when they say, "How can a universe be in an infinite field?" It can. You know, it can because uh, you can add, you can take away, you can do 
and it will still be right. The way I see infinity is that it's not, it's, a, it's not a number, it's not a thing, it just means something that will keep going and keep going and never stop. And yeah. be a is it a concept or is it a platonic discussion on it? It's almost a concept because infinity is not a number, as yeah. they say. Yeah. But you can break it down into different types of infinities, you know, and in some of them you can add, you can count. You know, you can take something away, you can put something away, you know, and it always remains constant. You know, it's uh, more interesting than to say, oh, in the first day he created this, in the second day, in the third day, and that's it, you know, and then he slept. This is a more and more why, why interesting... Why did it take him a whole day to do any one thing? Surely you could have just gone like that. You know. <laughs> Yeah, and if you look at the Big Bang, the, the whole process was very quick in the, in the, yeah. in the early part. Well, the amount that he expanded in the first second is like... 10 minus 42. <laughs> 10 minus 42 of a second. Oh! So it's like a second divided by a million times, yeah. you know, in those times. And when the inflationary period stopped, the universe was the size of a grapefruit.